Well, hey there, smooth skin. Welcome to RimWorld. I mean, my voice is bad, but it's not quite that bad. Not yet, at least. Welcome to this here war against the machines. You may have noticed there was no episode yesterday on account of my untimely demise. I have died. I have died of some sort of disease. Apparently not COVID. I've done a test, but it's something far worse because it's taken away my voice. And though I worked tirelessly both times I had COVID, and I even kept recording videos through a broken spine. That's not even a joke, sadly. If there's one thing I cannot do, it's work when I don't have any voice. Today, I have some terrible news. Oh. Oh. Now, in the last episode, we might have got exosuits, and we might have also got fabrication benches, but my big brain betrayed me. Instead of the fabrication benches and the mechs requiring... What the hell was even that? Oh, it's just the research lab blowing up. Don't worry about it. Instead, <laughs> instead of the fabrication benches requiring uh, advanced components and regular components, they required components and more components. Uh, so to look behind the curtain, Dorothy, whenever I start a new series, I have a little batch file that I've made that I can run and it will completely clear up RimWorld for me and sort out all my mods and, and reset everything back to effectively how it is when you've reinstalled it from Steam to ensure a nice clean start. Uh, except for this time, it didn't work for whatever reason. Whether it was interrupted or whatever else, we still had the resource dictionary active, and the effects of that were still in play from last series when we were in Jor Egypt. So advanced guns didn't exist in that, they were patched up to be regular guns. Unfortunately, we have not yet earned, in my opinion, the fabrication mensch nor the very fancy mech. So our goal for today becomes very simple, but also very complicated at the same time. Divot the goat. I'd forgotten about you. You having a good time out there on those horrible pipes. We have to get advanced components, and there are no traders. There are no trade caravans. There are no settlements to trade with that don't want to eat us. Then with that, we can create the fabrication mench. If we could also get advanced fabrication so we can make as many mechs as we like, I'd consider that a massive victory. Lots of people were asking how long it's going to be before I nuke the base, and I promise that'll be something else we try and get done for today. That's kind of our background focus, getting the Calatron updated so that we can build nukes. I love nukes. I'm very careful with things in this game, quite famously. Never once has my stockpile burned down. I feel like we need to build a nuke vault before I... <laughs> before I pay for my crimes. Given there isn't much work, given the chainsaw hands and a lot of our agents here are doing nothing, we're gonna take, uh... We're gonna take chainsaw hands and we're gonna take... King Snitch. And we're just gonna say, go sit in the tomb. You know, I think I might bury myself as well. That's a very undignified death. There you go. Front and center, so that even in death, my life will still be... About Rimworld. <laughs> you know what would also be really nice today? Turrets. Turrets would be good. Like, no pro- oh, I'm gonna set everybody- Ooh. What? Rigged up vanimetric generator using an unstable vanimetric me me mechanoid cell. We have one of those, right? Just casually sat on a shelf, because, you know, safety is our priority here. Oh, God, we're doomed when we build nukes. <laughs> we're so <we're> fucking dead. <laughs> I guess we've got to make a proper ritual room. I mean, this is still Rim Rim after all. All right, there is a slight problem with my grand plan that you might have figured out. A chainsaw hands and king snitch are our only builders. Uh, I have a solution. Hold on. Through the power of modding and making this game even more unstable. Perfect. There we go. Now we can meditate for Psy Focus. We can meditate for Anima Grass. Obviously, we only really care about the Psy Focus. Let's give that to chainsaw hands and king snitch. So in theory, if we set that to their top priority, they'll go and build, and then if they haven't got another tier one job, they'll go back and meditate until they've got full Psy Focus. And if I set the Psy Focus to maximum, it basically means they'll be meditating pretty much all the time. The only problem is they might keep running back and forth. I think that's pretty good. I think that works quite well. We don't need to go massive with the ritual this time, because it's not really like a big core part of it. It's not as if we play like a medieval colony or anything like that. Let's make another carving of scrap so it's nice and, and nice and even. We also need a hominid shape. But I don't know why we can't craft one of those. Small sculpture. Oh shit! Are they not on the electric art bench? Because that'd be a real, that'd be a real stinky. Don't do this. No, I know you're gonna do it. Oh, we can't make it here either. Okay, well that's 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 a good thing. That's fine. Well, it's not fine because it means we can't make an entire bloody statue. But oh my god, that was a raid. Okay, how about instead of building the statue though? Hear me out here. We build the loudspeakers and the light balls. I think we've all seen the Matrix too. Sorry to say. You know what happens in that disco scene. We don't have an orgy as part of our ideology, but I can always change that. <laughs> what a fantastic use of our resources. There you go. Look at that. And there you go, another siding level. So it works perfectly then. So she's just going to sit there and meditate. What happens when it fills up, though? 100%. Oh, so she, she will just keep meditating. For our next research, we can go for manufacturing. Oh, that'd be nice to get early. Then I don't have to worry about rebuilding this room when we get it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> further down the line, it ruins everything. I'm going to fly you over to a complex. Can we do that? Oh my god, we can. That's awesome. But she'll probably have to... Uh, she'll probably have to get more Psy Focus at the place, depending... How much does it use up? It doesn't use up that much. As long as we don't use any Psy Powers while she's over there in combat, she can also fly back. And kaboom! That's cool. I like that a lot. She just flies over there. Oh, that's really good. Here we are. Whoa, look at this map. Lots and lots of ancients. This is what we're after. Hermetic crates. Come on. Hyperweave. Damn you. Okay, drop supplies. That's never good, but we'll do it anyway, because why the hell not? Oh, hello. It's rubber. Rubber, I need your weapon. Oh, careful, chainsaw hands. Come on, chainsaw hands. Knee strike. Sweep the legs. Or do that. And I was going to say strip them. Oh, shit. Hang on. Detected the signal are attacking. We might need to fly away fast. Uh, steal their clothes. Let's see if we've got some good stuff from this. We need your gun at the very least. Heavy SMG. That's an upgrade as far as I'm concerned. And actually, so are the flat pants. Okay, we'll check this last room. If we can't find anything, let's let's dash. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, oh, come on. Just one advanced component. Oh, hyperweave. Oh, people. Um, forget it. Cut your losses. Get out of there. Bearing in mind, her face is pretty exposed. I don't want to get shot in the head. I appreciate your body. Slamming that man. Oh, Christ. They're not going to let us leave easily, are they? All right. You know what? Search and destroy. You've got this chainsaw hands. Look <laughs> that we can knock them down and steal their clothes. <gasps> that was... I I'm a genius. I was absolutely intentional and definitely what I was going to do. That was amazing. God, she's just so bloody powerful. She's just too strong. You've got four regular components. So let's go ahead and finish you off, too. Amazing. Maybe we should wake up the other ancients, huh? We've got room for another nine kilograms, too. Shit, let's take it. Oh, chainsaw hands, you are so good. So this room is still, like, untouched. Well, uh, I've already did one that shotgun, but that's okay. Sorry, that SMG, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and pick this up. And then let's crack open another cryptopod. Oh, God. Hello. In with the RKO. Get her, chainsaw hands. Oh, come on. I have very fancy sunglasses. Strip them, kill them. I know that stripping them doesn't really make that much difference, but it's about the humiliation, really. <laughs> Science goggles. Pick them up. They can't weigh that much, right? And let's also pick up all the gold that we can carry. And get ready. This is going to be incredible. Leg sweep. Leg sweep. Chainsaw hands. Nice. And then stripper. <laughs> it's just the... <gasps> the disrespect. The goddamn disrespect. I like it. I'm in. Uh, let's pick up that. Oh, can we not carry it? Oh, shit. Pick up the shotgun and then p fill up her inventory with the rest of the Glutton World Medicine, and then we should be fine. Let's just do that. That's amazing. This has been fantastic work. Actually fantastic work. And then we fly away. Oh, she's just so fucking good. Just amazing. This is really big brain time. Two advanced components, a mini turret pack, science goggles, gorse rifle, chain shotgun, and the glitter tech medicine. With those, we can build the fabrication bench. So that's immediately solved our problem there. That's amazing. Oh yeah, look at this. Now the man looks like a general pain. <laughs> Holy shit. A 100% legitimate fabrication bench. Thank you. Let's go ahead and make... Oh, well. I mean, I was going to say like 20 or something. Not 100, but that's fine. Come on, researchers. Show us. Advanced fabrication. Shit. Uh, oh, that looks good, though. Hey, what is that? Is that the beginning of the mech frame stuff? It only locks the mech frame power core. Oh, man, I wonder if the glitter it's more useful. Oh, it's a hard decision. I'm going to go for it. We're going we're gonna to commit. Can't build the mechs until we get advanced components anyway, right? So it might have been better just going for a cheaper research or getting the glitter net and actually having something useful come out of it. Okay, or that will do it. All right, to make frame is found out falling towards the colony. It will land in four days. Okay. Do you think that'll be like the ruined one that we had before or something we can actually salvage? Because that would be... That'd be very convenient. That would certainly cut out the... Middle man. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it doesn't look like it could be that bad. That's fine. That's fine. That's manageable. Oh, I don't know, actually. Is that manageable? All right, it's time for war. Get rid of all this crap. Old machining benches are a thing of the past. Get it in the bin, Stella. Chainsaw hands. Let's go for some actual good stuff. If we could get gunsmithing, I know that's a radical suggestion. Gunsmithing would be a real game changer, right? Eh? Because then we can actually fight these mechanoids with useful stuff. Hang on, Larry. Big man Larry. Can we not just shoot them through the walls? I'm a genius. All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need a lot of hearing out on this one. We just take Larry the Emu and we just fire a shot through there. 
I'm a, I'm a goddamn genius. And then let's let's get you guys to line up. What the hell is that? A salter. In, internal charge blaster. Right, we've seen that before. That thing's nuts. And then we've got a marshal, which is the close range combat one, right? Let's see. Take on chainsaw hands. Ah, as a shield. I don't like that one at all. Uh, yeah, like kill it though. Shit. Um, I'm gonna leave her there, but no further for I think fairly obvious reasons. Hello there. It still tried to take her out. Do you see that? Okay, kill that thing. My God, I thought General Payne was shot in his brain then. Uh, putting the pain in General Payne probably. Ah! No, 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 no! What are you doing? I said kill that one, you fanny. Okay, please. Ah! Try Cal. Try Cal. Finish off. No! They're too good. They're actually learning our techniques. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. What's wrong with you? You lost an ear. That's okay. You don't need an ear. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Just just start chain reaction. Or just kill them all. I mean, that also works fine. I'm not going to complain about that one, fella. <laughs> Honestly, this is this is down to chainsaw hands. Because without this gorse rifle, this would have been way, way harder. Uh, let's reposition you, slide. Let's put you like there. Yeah, that'll do it. Problem solved. Actually, problem solved. And then, yeah, you know what? You can take out the psychic trainer. I trust you. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, you died when we got you to the table. Oh, shit. Oh, that was way worse than I thought. Oh, that was entirely on me. But you were apparently a sleeve, though. They didn't really die. They were just a clone. Oh, shit. Well, original Trical, wherever they are back in their home base, is probably going to be pretty upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> or very confused or both why not to be fair we don't really have any good doctors still so that should have been that should have been expected that's completely on me so we're gonna have counselor general be general pain because of course you are oh i like that hell yeah <laughs> what a baseline huh that's all those speakers mechanoids are gonna hear this for miles <laughs> Subwoofer shaking the planet's core. Very nice. Okay, that's that done. Uh, moral guide is probably slightly more important, to be honest, than, than filling in all the other triumvirate roles. Uh, let's go. Moral guide can be... Larry the Emu? Honestly, I'm going to go with Larry the Emu. I think he deserves it. Sounds like that big, filthy Frank chin-chin intro energy. <laughs> An anima tree? Oh, shit. Wow. Um, unless we can replant that, which we can't. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do anything with that. Uh, it's probably just going to get destroyed and cause a lot of mood problems later down the line. Uh, Chainsaw Hands, you can be the second triumph there. Where is that one? Uh, okay, I guess you'll be the third one. All right, that works fine too. Never mind. It's the only reason not to give all of these people the tusks because they're all getting the same abilities, right? Like the leadest drive and all the other stuff that I never use. Uh, let's give that to you. There you go. Why is that such a banger? Holy shit. And then we need the head engineer. Who's our best crafter? That would be General Payne. Shit. Um, I guess we'll wait on a head engineer then. We could always make it our best researcher, which is Corellin. Whoops. Um... Chainsaw hands. I don't think we've got anyone suitable for the rank yet, so I'm just not going to do it. Both Kurillan and Kingsnitch can also get an expertise. Okay, let's have a look here then. Uh, you can have synthesizing, hacking, or researching. Researching gives the 5% research speed. Hacking gives 5% hacking speed. And I think it's probably fairly safe to say what the creating drugs does. That's right, it's 5% synthesis speed. Yeah, I think we'll take the research, honestly. And then for Kingsnitch, it's another creation one. Let's go for... Um, architecture to give the 5% quality bonus. Did they did they even do that research? <laughs> I didn't even notice. Um sure we'll take the apparel augmentation. I think some of this could be quite useful. Oh, I suppose with the with the ENIAC and the multi analyzer that's a massive research speed bonus we got going on. And with three research benches and three competent researchers, we're probably going to fly through this. Oh god damn, I thought I was going to land right on the base. Um can we grab that fast though cuz some of that seems pretty good. The milk Unfertilized quail eggs by the pallet load. Thank you. Oh, where's that landing? Oh, God. Oh, that's terribly unfortunate. Um, we have to, uh, like, deconstruct that fast, don't we? Otherwise, it's just going to keep spewing out fire. Just block the way to the damn kitchen. Oh, God. This seems really dangerous. At least it's on roof now. Okay, we're good. Uh, please put the fucking fire out. No damage. No damage. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Oh, no, this one could be good. Hello. 
They've all just, they've, they've genuinely just walked away from a ship crash as if nothing happened. We could take them prisoner. There's nothing to say we couldn't. What have you got? Eight medical double passion. Oh, shit. Oh, those are some fine legs you have there, my friend. Kapow. I didn't want to rescue, but it worked. I'm a goddamn genius. This has been accidentally the best episode ever. Accidentally kill a man and get the advanced components. Accidentally sweep the legs. And Would you really join the faction of someone who came up to you and sweeped your legs out from under you? <laughs> she does need conversing. So that is a, uh, that is a slight problem there. It's a slight downside. Um, she hasn't really got many skills other than that. I suppose I'll put you on handle and train. You can be pivot's number one caretaker. Between her and Colosti Fluxer, who has that critical skill. So we'll learn it super fast, but she's better in the troll time. I mean, two doctors is always good, right? I think we're set. I don't think we have to worry about any of the skills that we're missing at this point, right? We've got good growing. We've got good building, fabrication. I'd like another, another crafter at some point. Hello. What have you got for me? A shitload of jade. Very non-flammable jade. Combat sunglasses. Yes. Advanced components would be nice, but I mean, I'll let you off. If it's sunglasses, I will let you off. Ah, oh, there we go, King Snitch. So we could keep going with the wild speaker tree. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go right into Anomaly here. We're not here to, uh, to explore all the other trees. I just feel like having a guy in charge of nature on a planet where no nature isn't actually that useful. Whereas a guy that can fly and become immune to damage probably is. Yeah. Ooh, is that it? Wait, was that it that just flew past the screen? There you go. Falling wreckage. If we claim that, what the hell do we do with it? You make frame power core. So if we take it apart, is that what it's implying? That we get a power core from that? Combat class shades. Hey, there you go. Uh, deep drilling. Now we can get the stone that we need to finish the nuclear reactor. Or, oh my god, there it is. Mech frame power core. Centerpiece of a mech frame powers and integrates different parts into the harmonious entity. And then a shield generator. Now all we need is a hospital so that unconscious people can or proceeding according with the Dead Sea Scrolls. What a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. <laughs> well, let's see what we can find then. We have to place it on drillable resources to start things off. Okay, fair enough. Can we, we can place it on deep cam though. So if we just place it on like the smallest corner of deep cam. Come on, let's get those mechs legitimately this time. God damn it. Oh, I mean, gun links are really cool. Um, carpets, they don't seem to really fit the theme. Let's take the gunlings. That's good. Ah, oh, shit. Mechanoids are close to obtaining a critical mass before they receive a hardware update. Okay, so if we don't stop them now, we're going to be fighting much stronger mechanoids. We could we could send Chainsaw Hands just to go scope it out, right? We could go see one of the weaker ones, see what they've actually got going on. And then if we can fight it, we could send the whole damn squad. I think that's a good idea. Why can't I... Hello? Why can't I move Chainsaw Hands? What the fuck? <laughs> what? I can't make chainsaw hands walk anywhere. Wait, what? I can't make anybody walk anywhere. Oh, God. Carefully scope them out, chainsaw hands. Let's see if we can at least take out a couple of destroyers. We've got to get mech suits before the mechanoids get upgraded, huh? Attack destroyer 33KC. Don't attack. Investigate. See if they want to be friends, maybe. Hello? Oh, this is a horrible map. Um... Uh, you know what? Genuinely, I think we could probably handle it. They are already shelling chainsaw hands. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, Ultra Instinct, though. Dodge. No, oh, don't dodge into it. Okay, we'll come back to that later. That seems manageable. The destroyers don't seem too bad at all. Let's get gunsmithing first. And here it is at long last. I am proud to present to you all advanced fabrication. Shit. <laughs> More sunglasses, all right. Gunsmithing. Gunsmithing's good. I'll happily take gunsmithing. Now advanced components, though. I just I just want a mech suit. Isn't that much to ask? Should man be denied what we are owed? You've got 10 minutes to get me advanced components right now. Otherwise, I'm going to have to research something else, aren't I? <laughs> no resources below. We've been absolutely played like a fool. We have been completely bamboozled. Guess we'll have to caravan out. Oh, I mean, there's a wasteland right next to us. That would have rock types, right? Uh, what have you got for me? Slate and marble. That'll do. That's fine. Now, put your hands together for advanced components. Fucking every time. Why have you got to make me look like a fool? We are going to have to travel through the mountains to get some rocks, though, because we can't set up a settlement, obviously, adjacent to our original one. We can only carry 170 kilograms. Six chunks. Six fucking chunks. 
<laughs> well, that gives us nine packs of concrete. How much did we need? 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, never mind. We tried. <gasps> what the hell is core sample drill? Hang on. The core sample drill allows you to acquire standard rock types. Holy shit. Not only are we going to be able to build the mechs, but we can also build the nuclear reactor in one fell swoop. Game of the year. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Uh, defensive position squad. No pressure. Hello. Oh, gremlin. What the hell is a gremlin? Charge pistol and plasma grenades. Oh my god, there are so many. Ranger, gremlin, ranger. It's like a little hit and run squad. Doesn't seem like there's any massive mechanoids here. Get him, general. Oh, watch out for that plasma grenade. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> uh, chainsaw hands. I'm going to need you to leap and take that one out before it gets behind the sandbags. Nice. What a hit. Flying phantom punch. Exceptional behavior. Let's get you on the quad machine gun. What are you two doing? You're just, you're just going to stand in the, the hospital like the fools that you are. Oh, my God. They've got shields now, the rangers. Whoa. They are a lot more... They're a lot more tanky, aren't they? Uh, Krusty, come take over from Chainsaw Hands. Chainsaw, let's hold the center. Oh, shit. We're just going to use her as hit and run. You don't have a weapon at all. Fine, you can piss off then. How? Larry. Larry, you've got the best gun in the colony and you're taking ages, my man. Let's leap out. Let's leap out and see if we can kill a few. Go up there. Let's hit what they can't. Come on, Chainsaw Hands. Sweep the legs. Nice. Is that one Is that one dead? Oh, uh, condition intending. Finish it off. Boom. Okay, get in there. Let's go for a leg sweep. Come on. Okay. Kill. I think we're good. I think everything's fine. I was keeping this place in case we need to come back and get more stuff. But with that deep core drill, we're, we're not going to need it, are we? Let's just get rid of it. Here we go. Some legitimate mech suits. And not just some. Le oh. Okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. Not just some legitimate mech suits. We're going to build every goddamn person in this colony a mech suit. We need like a mech bay. We, we should turn this into, like, a loading bay or something like that. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be expensive, huh? 450 steel, 150 uranium, 30 components, 5 advanced components. Wow. Um, sure, let's do it until we've got 10. Yeah, I, I think that's all right. Then let's make our people without weapons some actual guns. You know what? EMP launchers would be amazing. Let's do one EMP and what? Oh, man, there isn't even another weapon I'd want to use, though. Sod it. Let's go two EMP, then. Why not? Oh, shit. Is that it? Come on. Chainsaw hands. Build. Build. Where, where... Hey, where'd the advanced components go, though? Who moved those? <laughs> oh, the core drills need them. Ah, oh, well, I mean, that's fine. Let's take the uh, random chunks. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, let's go. Let's just go pure marble. Keep it simple. My God. Larry the Emu, we have done it, my friend. Take your exoskeleton. Now, to be clear... You're not supposed to wear the exoskeletons all the time. They give massive negatives to uh, rest rate and that type of thing. They do give bonuses to work speed. So you have to kind of micromanage it a little bit. But the benefits are massive if you do so. Put the goat in the exoskeleton. I presume we can't do that. Larry, bring that back a second, pal. I want to make these into like proper little mech bays as well. So let's just throw down some fancy flooring around it too. Oh, could be the factory flooring from uh, mechanoids. Where is that? Factory, factory. Don't tell me. I'll see it eventually. There it is. No factory floors quite yet, but when we get that, that'll be perfect for making a little mech bay. Mech number two. Wait, do they take no time to build? Oh, work left one. Well, that explains I haven't seen them building them. They've just been churning them out like they were nothing. Oh, that's amazing. We could get some better guns. That would be even better still. Scarlet collecting. We collect Scarlet Sludge from the air. And that'll be something for, I guess, the distant future. That's, again, like the, the red pill aspect, the luciferium aspect of things. Mmm, delicious, delicious air sludge right in my mouth. Mmm, oh. Hello, build basic plastic magnets for faster net workflow. What on earth is that? This allows us to build a gestalt engine, which also sounds pretty good. To be honest, I want to focus on the luciferium expansion mod as soon as possible. So we're going to go for this one next. We're trying to keep our people as human as possible by not using too many bionics this time around, but there's no reason we can't load them up with tasty, tasty drugs. I would like to see some better guns, though. That'd be quite nice. Or, ground penetrating scanner. I mean, we've already got some. The base had some to start off with, but we'd be able to move it around and plan things out a little bit better with that. So I'll go for that one, sure. Go, General Payne. Bring the pain. The, the, the nuclear pain, that is. Have we done it? 
We've got the 20 pack concrete. We need just regular components now. Hold on. Gala Arch. I don't know how this mod even works. So I don't know exactly what this does. But apparently they allow for more Scarlet Particle Attraction. And that can only be a good thing. Or it could be terrible. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Some of it is under this one here. The pipe network. Scarlet pipe, Scarlet tank. Oh, shit. Uh, how do we actually get... Let's stop into Scarlet here. See what we can get. Scarlet collector. Machine equipped with plasteel magnets capable of... Something, something, something. Uh, capable of collecting Scarlet sludge. The process can be sped up with various Scarlet particle attractors. They're very rare, so what if most have gathered are toxins, ashes, and other contaminants from the air. The end product will come out as Scarlet Sludge, a dense oil-like substance with a few viable mechanites. We can collect the very nano machines from the air and turn it into something usable. 15. Come on. There you go. Chainsaw hands bought over the last five. And boom. Well, maybe boom is... <laughs> Not the most appropriate thing to say right now. Insert uranium. Needs 5,000 watts. Ah, right. Fair enough. Uh, well, let's turn off these for a start. Then I guess we'll turn off the ENIAC, right? Because that's using 5,000 watts. So if we take that out, instead of having 25% faster research, we can have uh, it producing some sort of nuclear fuel. I think that's a good idea. Apparently, it's under brewing, which means General Payne gets to deal with it. Or, you know, whatever our best chef in the colony would happen to be. There's barely any difference between cooking up refined uranium and, you know, beer. <laughs> <laughs> this will stop those damn mechanoids. We ready in zero seconds. Is it done? Went for pickup. Chainsaw hands. Uh, you are probably the worst person, actually, to go and collect sensitive nuclear material. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Separation uranium. A product that can be separated into enriched uranium and depleted uranium on the lathe. Right. Okay, so then we say split uranium do forever love that you split uranium on a lathe that's just amazing let's get this turned on as soon as possible and let's get to uh well let's get to churning out some nuclear bombs shall we how much do we get from that because that was quite a long time spent processing do we want it running constantly it's probably a better question so it's one enriched per warhead and i presume these things are probably going to be like anti-grain level maybe larger uh we get was that just one Okay, I mean, fair enough. One enriched uranium, 24 depleted uranium. Depleted uranium, you would presume, based on science, that that would be good to build walls out of, right? Depleted uranium is is, is pretty pretty dense. Uh, 3,000 max hit points. What's that compared to a regular uranium wall? Uh, 2,500, so it is slightly better. Okay, so we could build, like, the entrance to the base out of that when we, when we stockpile enough. Can we make any sort of fire weapon? Oh, I have a really, really horrible idea. <laughs> I have a really horrible idea. We don't have mortars, right? We haven't got the research for mortars, but now we have the, uh, the nuclear warhead. I have a really, really, really horrible idea. Uh, General Payne, if you could make us a flamethrower. Need some sort of nuclear vault. I said that before we started building it, and then I built it anyway, because I've apparently lost my damn mind. Uh, let's put it in the prison. That's like, that's like a pretty <laughs> big dick energy. And then I'm going to give that to our pal Larry the Emu. Larry the Emu, come down here. I would give it to Chainsaw Hand. She's obviously not going to be very good. Ooh, solar modules for the mechs. She's not going to be very good at handling ranged weapons, right? Then we put Larry the Emu in the exoskeleton. There you go. Wow, that is uh, exceptionally threatening, especially with that mustache. And we get Larry the uh, fire-wielding Larry the Emu to pick up the nuclear warhead. Good. <laughs> this sounds like the worst idea I've ever had in my whole life. And then you are going to fly... Uh, where's the fly button? Here we are. We're gonna fly over to that destroyer that we saw earlier with Larry the Emu. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is so silly. <laughs> then... <laughs> this is the stupidest shit I've ever done in my whole life. We're gonna carefully approach. Carefully approach. I, I presume the exoskeleton's gonna be pretty damn tanky, right? Uh, let's see if we can, let's see if we can swipe in. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Wait, wait, wait. Drop the nuke. Walk back. Walk back. Larry, careful. And then we're gonna shoot the nuke. And then hopefully Larry's gonna be able to run away in time to escape. I'll do it. <laughs> Larry! Larry! Run, Larry! Okay, don't, don't, don't fire at will. Run. Shit, the mech itself is taking damage now. Okay, okay, good. Stick together. Run. 
Nice. Nice. Uh, uh, you leap away. Just leap away. We, we can jump. We can jump and still fly off with that. So that's fine. Nice. How long until that nuke goes up? It hasn't activated quite yet. Oh, this is such a... Uh, this is so big brain. This is so goddamn big brain. Oh, God. Keep moving. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, chainsaw hands. Hide behind that tank. Stand your ground. Let's see if we can kill a few at this point. Because I don't think we've got much of a choice. Get him, chainsaw hands. Larry the Mute. You know what? Just keep punching. Honestly, that's probably not a terrible idea. Let's be very, very... Why is that not exploded yet? What? Can we fire from more to launch my artillery? Won't explode when damaged. Shit. Shit. Uh, we're gonna have to go back and pick up our nuke now. Those things are damn expensive. Ah! Okay, come on. Come on, squad. We've got a mech suit and we've got chainsaw hands. Nice. Finish it off. RKO. Yeah, that, that will also work. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care what the move is called. Just kill him dead. Larry's not really much help here, given that he's got a flamethrower against mechs. Oh, we are against fire mechs, though. Change of plan. Go. Get him, Larry. Chainsaw hands. This is on you, my friend. We've got to reclaim that nuke. And we might as well take out the destroyer while we're here. This is backfired a little bit. I'll be the... Larry the Emu, you are a, a fucking legend. I take back everything I said. You are a golden man. You are a golden man. Nice. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Take out the other one. Okay, chainsaw hands. Let's, go, let's start you leaping again. Go. Oh, th th this team. This I, I, I take back everything I said. We didn't need the nuke after all. Larry the Emu, the, the fire exoskeleton and chainsaw hands is all you ever needed. Let's go carefully pick up that heavily damaged nuke. Put that in your pocket for later. <laughs> Wasn't quite what I had in mind, but you know what? It worked, didn't it? The nuke was about sending a message more than anything else. What have we got here? Cargo container. Well, let's just get to... Oh, shit. Uh, okay, 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 careful. Back off. Just ba what, what sort of explosion radius are we expecting on that? Okay, that's fine. I remember the engines explode pretty violently, don't they? Let's check the cargo container. Because when she jumps, she'll take everything around her. Or at least uh, some things around it. Right, don't punch the engines. What's this? Climate adjuster. Punch that for sure. Nice. What is that? Climate control chip. Ooh, we can build our own climate adjuster. Oh, shit, that'd be good. And then we've got another metric power cell. We've got some mechanoid components. Very, very nice. Let's see if there's anything else here worth having a look at. Now, I'm 99% sure that if we punch these engines, they're just going to blow up and take our people out. Let's put all this stuff in a pile. We need to put it in like a... Uh, what, what area was it? Was it just three by three? It was, but that's okay. We can make that work. I think we want to take plasteel, gold, some uranium for those very, very useful nuclear bombs that really were just to send a message. Uranium, uh, I want to take the vanometric mechanoid cell and any sort of components, any of the mechanoid components especially. We have to destroy the shit though, don't we? Otherwise it counts as still being active. All right. Yeah, bear with me here. Uh, let's just get you leaping like... Oh, no, 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 don't leap. Wait, shit. Okay, we can't leap. You're just gonna have to run. She's very fast. She's got that arco like, oh, it's not that big of an explosion. You'll be all right. And hopefully that'll do it. It's still active. We gotta take out all the barriers. I think the fog might be doing us in a little bit. I think there might be something behind the fog. Oh, there you go. Mechanoid ship engine, 60%. Let's just quickly take away some of these blocks if we can uncover it a little bit better. Um, maybe that one will uncover it all. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, there was another mortar here all along. Well, never mind. These things happen, don't they? Shit. Um, okay. We're good. Everybody's fine. Toxic fallout. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, chainsaw hands, you don't have to sweep up. Larry, get into position. Let's get out of here. And in theory... In theory, we flew away with all that stuff. I hope so. Uh, I think we got bamboozled. <laughs> Shit. I should have just put it in our inventory. Oh, never mind. We know for next time. It wasn't that much of a loss. I mean, look, I'll be real. As far as nuclear warheads backfiring goes, that was pretty okay. That was best case scenario. Larry was absolutely on it. Took out those fire mechanisms like they were nothing. Chainsaw hands, one-on-one -on -one with those scythers, really weren't a problem. Make sure we actually manually eject him from the suit, though, otherwise he'll... No! That's not what I wanted you to do, you moron. How, how do we get him out of the suit? There you go. We've got to make sure we, we actively take them out of the suits, otherwise they'll just sit there forever. And it will massively impact their recreation and restaurant and things like that. It was a nuclear disaster, but not the bad kind. And you know what? I'm all right with that. We know for the future, though, we've got to get mortars. Take a mortar over along with chainsaw hands, put it in a pocket, whatever. Set one up, fire off the nuke. We'll be able to clear out these ships in no time. I'm happy with that. 
tomorrow, we're going to dive onto looking at the Scarlet Collectors. For the red pills, of course, so that we've, we've tied it nicely into the Matrix theme. All sorts of Luciferium-based drugs and ideas associated with that one. Whole new pipe network. So I, I think we might need a whole new factory associated with that one. Very excited to see what that one's about because it's been on my radar for a long, long time. But for today... Let's leave it there. Mainly because my voice hurts, but mainly because I think I've accidentally uh, recorded way too much. So um, it's going to be kind of fun to edit. Thank you to Bobka, Potato, Matman, Tristan Flanagan, Master Mary Malice, Little Bicky, Neozilla, Delusion Khan, Gia Relic 35, Atomno Unconquered, Talia, Acolyte of Arcadius, MGS Detect Sound, 007 Bond 62, Holiday C, Dead Degrees, Dr. Simba, Sign Sweeper, Sean Howard, Has Crack, Eccles Cakes, Accidental King, Neil Drathek, Zodius, Ler LCG Lurch, and everyone else, the executive producer tears over on Patreon. Ow. I'm really quickly losing my voice. Thank you to Solar Lupus, JC2406, Dylan Gilly, Paul Moss, Sabat Kanzrel, Infect the World, The Unwise, Kashada, Merlin Kane, Liam Frostick, Judas Black, Bear Minimum, Bjornulf, Richard Harris, Brian Elliott, Red Noah, Sheepy, Blavicado, Mike Omega, Lawrence and the Machine, Todd Tedith, Two Meter Beamer, Singed, and Tassa Luck P. Thank you. Ow. See you all tomorrow, I hope. Unless I lose my voice again from, you know, recording way more footage than I think I might have needed today. Yeah, look, it's a good mod. I'm enjoying the theme of this mod pack. You know, it's fairly low scope. We've got some big mods that are defining it. Not lots of little mods working together. I actually think I kind of prefer that.